Welcome to my fifth episode of Game Sesh, where I take a dab while my voiceover talks game, the video kind. Today we're going to set the world on fire, metaphorically of course, because we're diving into Flintlock, the Siege of Dawn. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this game, but then again, I am biased when it comes to a strong female lead. Nor is truly a baddie. I mean, this is a Souls game. The combat is intense. Oh, that was crazy. I've never actually experienced that sort of atmosphere again. The story's got more twists than a pretzel at a carnival. You're up against the despot, a clan run by a god so evil, they make my Monday mornings look like a day at the spa. <laughs> Did I mention all the bosses are gods? No, didn't. And then there's Inky. If you've ever wondered what would happen if Tinkerbell had a caffeine overdose, Inky is your answer. He's adorable, he's chaotic, and he gives you all the magic vibes. And the environments, they're like eye candy, but if eye candy could cast spells and summon giant creatures to chase you around. So if you're into a game where you can wield magic, guns, and swords all at once, kind of like the ultimate fantasy Swiss army knife, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn is the game for you. Are you ready to face the unknown? Stay tuned for more adventures on Game Sesh. Until next time, game on.